Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I am very excited to share with you um, just the process of how I built this room. Uh, now, the the clips that you'll see here in a second, I filmed all of these uh, when I was obviously building this room. And unfortunately, I didn't film a ton. I took more photos than anything. So I'm gonna do like kind of like a voiceover thing uh, with the photos, kind of explaining uh, what you're seeing on screen. So um, if that sounds interesting, uh, please just sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy uh, uh, just finding out how I built this movie room. So starting off, as you can see, the basement was pretty rough when we first moved into the house. Uh, it was not finished. The house was actually empty for like four years before we moved in. So there's a lot of work to do. And so one of the many things that I knew that I wanted to do when we first looked at this house is I wanted to convert the basement into a movie room. And so I started here with just the one wall. Um, that actually is the wall that you see behind me in most of my videos. Um, there's a lot of obstacles that I had to work around uh, within the basement. There were, uh, I had to work around the furnace, there was a support pole, um, and I just had to basically design the room around you know, many different things. But as you can see, it started coming together slowly but surely. Um, this was the first time that I ever actually built a room like this myself. Uh, I have, I've built things in the past, but I've always had help, but this was the first time that I uh, did everything myself. And I try to utilize every square inch of this room that I possibly could. Um, obviously, as I said, I had to work around a few things, but I tried to basically make the most of every square inch. But the only help that I had with the whole room, uh, my dad actually came out and helped me uh, block up the window because I did not want any windows within the movie room. And so uh, we had to cut out the old windows and just block it up. And that black plastic uh, stuff that you see behind the two by fours, I use that just to help prevent moisture from leaking through uh, from the cinder block on the uh, for the outside. Not that the basement was really damp in the first place, but I just wanted to try to keep moisture down as much as I possibly could. And this was right when I started putting in uh, insulation, as you can see. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today is a very special day. Um, because I'm going to be showing you guys the progress I've made on my movie room. This is a project that uh, I've been working on for the last few months now, maybe. Um, and I'm very excited because I am closing in on it. Um, currently, as you can see, I'm in the basement of my uh, house. Um, and in front of me is the entryway. I'm right at the stage where um, I'm about to put in drywall. So let me flip this camera around okay so when you come down the stairs over here we'll walk in and there will be a door right here into the movie room as you can see it's mainly just studs right now um but you will walk in uh currently the drywall needs to still be put up um but i have all the uh insulation besides that little corner over there um all that's done and then i just need to put some insulation up in the rafters but this will be like the l large section of the room. Um, actually, there we go, that's better. Uh, this will be like the larger section of the room. I'm gonna have a full wall bookcase right here. Um, and this is where the TV is gonna go. Uh, this is my entertainment stand. So the TV is gonna be mounted on the wall with a pull, jet, pull down projector screen. Um, and I'm gonna run all the wires to the back and I'll show you what I'm gonna be doing back there. Uh, this is currently going to be my um, kind of like a media rack where there's going to be uh, like my laser displayer, my surround sound system, and any like bigger players will go onto this, and then the smaller stuff will go onto this. Um, right now, this is scooted over because I was working in the corner. But underneath, there's going to be like a little door right there. Uh, that's just going to be like a cabinet for storage. Um, and then on this side, um, is going to be also movie room. So currently there's just kind of storage right now because I keep moving a lot of things around. Um, but there's going to be a built-in bookcase right here. Um, it's already built in. So, um, and then this will all just be shelving here and there'll be a door right here into the back of the basement. So, um, this is just a underneath our front front porch and it's leaking water a little bit, but 
we have a hot water tank here, pressure tank, uh, softener, water softener, and everything. Um, so there'll just be like this little hallway right here to walk back to, um, where I have like my electrical panel. I have would have some storage things. Um, currently, everything on this shelf besides the bottom shelf that all needs to go into the movie room. That's all my TV stuff, and my different players. Um, and it'd just be a bigger storage area back here with some shelves on this side as well. Um, then back, um, I needed to have access to this door on the furnace to change out the filter. So I had to give myself a little bit of room back here. Um, and so yeah, this is, um, I'm going to run the wires through here, have outlets here and on the other side as well. Um, so those are just going to be able to basically, so I'm not going to have uh, like a rat's nest of wires behind the speakers of my entertainment stand. Um, it's all going to be able to be pulled through the wall and plugged into the TV, um, which will be up here. Um, and then this, this is a little room. Um, it's very, very little, um, where basically there'll be a wall right here, so you won't be able to see in, but I'll show this for the time being. Um, I'm going to, I, uh, I'm going to leave a little door here so I have access to kind of basically just get into this little area. I put a light in so you can actually see what you're doing, but I'm going to run all the wires from the, st uh, surround sound, laser disc, all that stuff. Um, so we're going to come through here. This is all the surround sound speaker wire, um, and video wires, video wires, sorry, we'll be running through there. I have an outlet already ran, um. Basically, I want to be able to um, just easily access wires from the behind of the players and just, um, you know, connect them and move them around as needed. Um, I'm probably not going to be going in that little room a lot. Uh, the main purpose of it is um, I didn't want to make these too deep, and I already had this shelf built, so um, I had to basically kind of work with the depth um, or the length of this shelf and I had to work with I didn't want to make that too deep So I decided to cap it off and make a little room back there basically for the wires and eventually I'm going to use it for poster storage because I have a bunch of framed posters and um, They don't really fit anywhere else. So I'm going to kind of put them back there and uh, I figure that's a good spot um, the reason why I had to build this kind of out and it's kind of obviously because kind of like a protruding item that's in the whole room um, instead of just making that a flat wall, I had to work around this uh, support pole um, that hooks up to the support beam um, in the basement, and that's cemented in. So this couldn't be moved. So I had to either just live with it in the middle of the room, um, or I could basically deal with it with um, the way that the uh, this uh, shelf thing would uh, work, which I knew I wanted to put this in. I just didn't know where. Um, but yeah, I also wanted to make sure that the TV was on a hollow wall, meaning that it wasn't against an outside wall like this one or the, that one. Um, but basically I would have access to the uh, back of the TV um, for speaker wire and uh, stuff like that. So that's why I did that. I have eight of these little guys, uh, these LED circle lights, and those will be up in the ceiling. Uh, I currently have four of them wired. Um, so switch to the lights and there's one, two, three, and four. Uh, and then I just need to run the wire from this side over to that side and do four more. Um, but that's just basically a little update. Um, obviously there's some odds and ends that I still need to do before I can bring movies down here, but uh, currently, my entire living room is packed full of movies, and um, I'm sure some video clips or pictures will be showing right now of that. Um, and yeah, this this really this basement changed uh, dramatically since I I started uh, working on it, um, and um, I cleaned it up, and it's I'm really looking forward just to having somewhere to put all of the movies. Yesterday's project was figuring out the um, AC drain line because most houses, um, 
if you go down to your basement, most houses probably, if you have an AC unit, the the line to the um, the drainage from um, the air conditioner just runs right into the sub pump. Um, but I obviously didn't want that, so best solution I could come up with is essentially this, which just runs right through the wall and down. Um, and unfortunately, this doesn't move, um, and there's no way to really get around this, so I'm just gonna have to basically make a little box and like a little um, lid on there, but I have a few ideas for um, what I'm gonna be doing with that corner. Um, anyway, so um, stay tuned for part two, and I guess I'll get started on putting some of this drywall up. And as you can see here, I did a light test, so just testing out all the lights, making sure everything worked properly. So I just wanted to give a quick little update. Um, I started working on some drywall and I got my light fixtures in, as you can see. Um, they still need to get painted up there. Uh, the whole ceiling is gonna get painted, but they are in. Uh, it is much brighter down here. Um, I got a little bit of drywall work in, not much. Um, it's not a fun time. I kinda, I hate drywall, so. Um, yeah, I just got these pieces still to do. Obviously the whole room, but I got these light fixtures in. Um, they're not perfect um, by any means, but honestly, it is the, it's way better lighting down here than what it was. Um, I think the only thing I might change, maybe put a light in this corner. But other than that, it's, it really, it's not, I don't know if I'm, I don't think I'm going to because it really isn't that dark. Um, yeah, so this is the lighting and I will see you guys in the next one. And as you can see here, I just continued with putting up drywall. Um, obviously, there is there was a ton of work to do with that. Um, and I absolutely hate working with drywall, so it was a lot of fun. Um, but it's also nice to see the room finally kind of come together. Here we go guys, this is the room painted. Um, I got the ceiling done. Um, as you can see, it's all black now. Don't mind these little, I still have to build like a little wall uh, for those little cavities to close those up. And I have to uh, paint like, I don't know if you can, if I block out the light. Yeah, as you can see, I need to paint the uh, around the lights still. Oh, I should have just used that one. Um, I took the lights out because I was spray painting this vent Still need to paint this vent here. Um, and over here I have just a little bit of ceiling to uh, paint. I need to put a little piece of drywall to cover that up. Put little things up there for the cavities. Um, and then paint the ceiling as well and the vent and the vent over there. Um, and as you, as you can see, I got the air ducts themselves painted. Uh, looked much, much better than what they did. Uh, everything's black now. Um, I decided to keep these shelves. I just need to clean them up. I um, decided to keep them as is uh, just to give it some color because I'm going to have shelves in here that are going to match similar coloring to these. Um, so I think it would, it's going to match nicely. Um, then I just need to paint that little board down there, which that's not attached, so I just need to attach it and paint it. Um, and here I need to put my cabinet door on. Um, I got these all painted. Uh, these are my uh, my shelves for my um, all my different players. Uh, I picked these up at Home Depot today, actually, um, 
for the wires to pass through. I need to put some holes in the uh, wall, and then a hole up here where I mount the TV. Um, yeah, and I need to build a little box to cover this up. Um, and that should be about it. Um, obviously doors are going to be something else that will come in the future. Um, I can add those whenever, but I'm just excited to actually get this room done. Um, but the beam is also painted black. Um, and I just need to hang my speakers. Um, the wi those are wires, everything's ran. Um, and as you can see, I, de I decided not to mud the, the seams or screw holes. Um, and um, I'm kind of glad I did because that would have taken a lot of time and sanding and just mess um, after mudding and all the seams to the, the entire house. Um, I'm just over that whole process. So um, I figured they're going to be covered up with shelves. You're not even going to see these walls. Um, I mean, you might a little bit here and there, but overall, you're really not going to. Um, and so I'm very happy with this. Um, I'm looking forward to having the ceiling painted. Last night, it was about four, four o'clock or so when I finished painting and um, I ran out of paint so I uh, to do the ceiling. So I went to Home Depot and grabbed another gallon. Um, and yeah, it is coming together. Um, I just have to, I have a carpet scrap to put in here. Um, so just have to clean up this floor a little bit before I do that. Um, then I can be mounting my TV and start putting in my players and um, hopefully start hanging up some shelves and getting some movies down here. But yeah, that is the, uh, the progress so far um, from yesterday and today. And so after paint, I put up my full wall bookcase and just kind of seeing how it would look within the room. Um, and I kind of put some odds and ends on shelves here and there just to, you know, kind of get a feeling uh, for how things would lay out. Um, and then I got my carpet scrap and I actually put it out in the driveway to cut it up to uh, see how it would fit. Unfortunately, it did not fill the entire room, so I had to actually get a second one. But it was very satisfying to empty boxes and just put movies back on shelves. But it was really fun just playing with the layout of everything. And as you can see by the photos, things really didn't change all that much than what they are now. But the pile of things on the floor there is stuff that I bought. Uh, from the time that I packed up the movie collection uh, to uh, the time that I actually built the movie room. So there's quite a bit of things that needed to get sorted out and put away. But I was very happy just to finally get everything uh, put on shelves and just organized the way I wanted it. And this is just a glimpse of the wiring uh, setup that I have for behind the TV, which I'll do another video on in the future. But uh, this is just kind of the, the layout that I had when I first finished uh, the movie room. And that pretty much brings us up to uh, today, where uh, you just kind of see how everything is laid out, and um, yeah, not much has changed in regards to the, the full layout of the room. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing about how I built this whole room. Uh, it was a ton of fun building it. I love building things and just, you know, putting together what I have in my mind, putting it and making it, you know, a reality. So um, I'm very grateful that I um, have the skills and the ability to uh, do something like this. But uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions on how I built things, if you have any questions on, you know, what material I used or anything like that, um, I would be glad to uh, answer them. But uh, I will say that I do have a link down below of my letterbox. I think this is only the second video video that I've, uh, I've announced this letterbox that I have. So um, if you want, you can go check that out. Uh, go check out what I, um, everything that I've watched and everything that, you know, I want to watch. Um, I'm still working on it, making it uh, perfect. But um, as always, guys, thank you again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.